here on Yokai Mountain, halfway up the west side, is a boss that I completely forgot about. The Fairy of Yokai Mountain. I don't know if she actually has a name. I remember she used Earth Elemental attacks, so we will make ourselves immune to those. And we'll steal a melange gel! And she'll inflict stop on someone. Oh, no, she won't. Okay. We'll use M block and resist even more spells, even though I don't think she's gonna hurt us anyway. We will use wind. You're probably weak to it, right? Yeah! And then we will use Master Spark. Everything's weak to Master Spark! Oh, she's actually not resistant to Master Spark. I'm amazed. Zero damage. Right? Oh, it poisoned someone. No damage, though. Just poison. Your wind attack is good, your wind attack is also good. We really don't need any more keys on the battlefield. Keep poisoning me, that's fine. I don't care. You can poison me all day. It doesn't do anything. I have regen. It cancels out. It does nothing. Fall, flower! That did actually nothing. It didn't even do zero damage, so I don't think it was an earth attack that I resisted. I think it just did nothing. Oh! She did something! We'll have to revive a character. What a dangerous boss. Oh, that actually worked that time. It destroyed all my MP. Uh, Marissa needs MP. Notori does not. The other two people, I guess, just resisted it? Ooh, that actually hurt. Um, yeah, this boss would have been very difficult to kill um, when we were on Yokai Mountain the first time. But right now, it's like, it's not hard. Like, she's doing some okay damage, but... She's wasting a lot of turns doing that. Where are my... Potion berries? That's what I want. You recharge. You you restore everyone's MP for free. You can do that. And then Marissa can actually attack. Heal a little bit.
If Patchouli can get a double cast off, this fight will just be over. Out of MP again. Fine, heal someone. Spend your turn doing something useful. This is wintry wind dance, so I wonder if it's ice or wind elemental. Like, but it's probably earth anyway, right? I don't know. I remember this boss using a lot of earth attacks last time I was here. So I feel like using the Earth Armor Bless is a good use of a turn, but... The only attack that really looks like it might be Earth Elemental so far is the uh, one with the blowing leaves. And even that one just does MP damage, so it's um, not. I don't think this boss really would have been killable with my crummy team um, when I was on Yokai Mountain the first time. I could, that would have been a disaster no matter how much I prepare it. Because this is a lot of HP this boss has. And it it's using skills that were dealing like 600 damage to my whole party. And any way you cut it, my party at that point in the game had about 600 HP. This regen needs to go. This is a problem. I can actually remove this regen. All I have to do is attack with Sine, right? Do it! Gone! It worked! Oh my gosh, it actually worked. I dispelled her regen. That's good, because that was a really powerful regen. That was like 400 HP every tick. Now I can actually win this fight, now that Regen is gone. It was just going to last forever until I did... I don't know how you would actually be able to win this without uh, a way to dispel. And so far, I haven't seen any other ways to dispel. It's possible that one of the characters I've been ignoring has a way to dispel, like Yuka or Romelia, or maybe Momiji. She's almost dead. Just end it. Uh, no. I meant the, the other way. End it the other way. With me winning.
That's fine, do things that miss. I just need one more hit. Oh, that boss actually gave experience. That's unusual. Lily White, that was her name. She did have a name. She dropped something. She dropped a critical seal. What's that do? That sounds like an accessory, right? Mental restriction, minus 100%. Um, is that like a, a specific status effect? Or an... Is it like all status effects that are mental? Because um, I've seen... Some games where status effects are split into physical and mental restrictions, like um, Etrian Odyssey does that, and it does it so that it only has to have two uh, remedy skills instead of twelve, and so enemies can resist groups of statuses also. Uh, if that's just making me immune to half the status effects in the game, that's a cool accessory. Okay. Now onward to... somewhere else. Well, we're now just sort of exploring around, um, looking for things to do. There doesn't appear to be anything to do in Hakurei Shrine Ruins. Um, Marissa had not so subtly suggested going to Corindo for absolutely no reason whatsoever. Um, which is sort of like, I guess, the developer's way of trying to make me go there without having to think of a logical reason why the characters would want to go there. There's a chest here, I guess, now. That was a weird thing to say. What do you mean, don't worry about me? Well, I just checked Haku Gikigo. And fate wasn't actually up there, despite um, the guardian of the place saying she was. I looked everywhere for her. She was just not there. Uh, there's a place between those two sentences where there should be a period, and there is not one. Now we're fighting another one of these espers. I like these Final Fantasy bosses, to be honest. I can't tell from the graphic what this is supposed to be, though. Uh, some sort of bird, obviously, but... We'll add wind element to the armor. It seems probably windy, right? Stole a flash hat. Cool. That means it's probably light. Great. Inflict sap on it. That's always nice to do. Yeah. We'll see if we can poison it. So I'm bringing Komachi. She is not really a good character. In fact, she's a completely terrible character. But I think I'm going to be forced to use her coming up, so now is as good a time as any, right? Might as well level her up. I got some of her um, better skills from the Road of Reconsideration. There's a shop in the town there that sells skills at a much higher rank for her, and only for her, than what you can buy in the Tengu Village. It's not enough to make her into a good character because she's still so slow. Oh my gosh, she's so slow, it's ridiculous. Yeah. 
See, Marissa just gets two and a half turns for every turn Komachi gets, it seems like. This is not a great boss killing team because I, I have no form of AoE healing except for... Um, I guess... Notori could go into EX mode if I really felt like it. Okay, you use your Thunder Bless, because we need to get rid of that Thunder damage. Uh, it's fine when it heals Marissa, that's great, but everybody else needs to stop taking damage. I think I'm going to use this shell ability. It probably won't be very useful, but we'll find out. Um, so if I can inflict poison on this boss, I'll be happy. But none of these status effects are likely to work on any bosses. I even went and tried to fight Suika with this team. It did not go well. I bet I used this poison ability ten times, and getting it to go off ten times was a nightmare, because Suika gets like four turns for every turn Kamachi gets, and so Kamachi just never gets a turn. Um, she'll get like 80% of the way to her turn, and then Suika will just one-shot her, and I'll have to revive her and start over. Youch! Notori does not like being hit with bio. I think that does triple damage to her. It looked like it did five to six hundred damage to everyone else and fifteen hundred to Notori. Where's the revivals? Here you go. So, if poison doesn't work, we'll try stop. That animation seems messed up. Oh, jeez. At least it's not immune to sap. I haven't found anything in this game yet that's been immune to sap. It just sort of works. Um, I appreciate that. I get the feeling this boss would be really easy if I had a real party here. I will say this, for a boss that uses only one element and would normally be um, totally nerfed by having Notori on my team, this boss knows how to deal with Notori. Man. Not only do the poison attacks do triple damage to her, but the moment uh, Armor Bless wears off, it does a lightning attack that does triple damage to her. Let's actually do some damage. This is going nowhere. Oh my gosh, it's so strong. Oh, 
Oh yeah, zero damage. That's what I like to see. Wham. It does have a good animation at least. That one did not do zero damage. That one did 2400 damage. Yeesh. The nerf to Armor Bless's duration is real. It is down to 10 rounds. And still useful, I will add. It's still very useful. The nerf was totally justified. Oh, that was a Dremelec. Okay. That's one of the... the, um, the espers from Final Fantasy XII. Which, so were... Um... Two of the others, I think? Zero Miss and... Who was the other one when we fought? Mateus? But the Ice Behemoth was not. The Ice Behemoth was just a thing. There was nobody to absorb Lady Chaos. See, like, Hope was right there. So, I have to think that Hope is just wildly incompetent to not absorb Chaos. And I, I'm also guessing we're going to have to fight Chaos again, because if uh, Gloom and Death were reborn when we defeated Chaos, then Chaos is going to be reborn too, right? Okay, you're just going to teleport me there? You're going to teleport me to somewhere else in Tango Village, I guess. I don't think evil's gonna strike right now. I'm not sure why this music is still playing, in fact. Various places have been brewing with dark aura. You're not gonna show me the scene where they meet with him? Really? Like, even a scene that's just a wall of text, you can't even include in the game. You have to have someone else describe the wall of text with a different wall of text. Like, that's really roundabout. Like, that's... Like, you've been breaking the show-don't-tell rule a lot in this game, and it bothers me every time, but that's one of the uh, more ridiculous places where you've broken it, because it doesn't even require you to make an action scene if you follow the rule. It just requires you to put this scene in a different location. <clears throat> yeah, I thought so. What do you mean by each area? You can summon dice, okay, in every battle. Um, is it, like, not really her when you summon her? Wait, what was up with that fade out, fade back in for no reason, then everybody vanishes into thin air, then you fade out, and then you fade back in again? Like, did you mean to do that a different way? I kind of feel like that was not what you meant to do, right? I'm also going to take a wild guess and say, yeah, you didn't automatically heal me after that, even though you sent me to a town. 
that would be a great time to automatically heal me. Okay, then we will head to Misty Lake. 